Good morning, Bird Brains, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be switching out our comms unit. Now, for those of you who have no idea what a comms unit is, it's a communication unit, uh, usually through Bluetooth, or now that we're getting into uh, a different stage of the technology, it's not really Bluetooth anymore, but they're still referred to as Bluetooth communicators. Now, for the past few years, two companies have pretty much dominated the Bluetooth communicator market. One of those being Senna, or Sina, whichever you prefer to call it, which is the ones that I've been running currently. But today, we're gonna be making a switch. <laughs> So I started off with the Senna 20S, which at the time was supposed to be the end-all, be-all, greatest communicator of all time. Well, long story short, it wasn't. Not only do we have multiple communication issues, even with a small group of about four people, eventually my battery died and then never came back to life. Thankfully though, Cena's uh, customer support did hook me up with a new one once it was dead in the water, but that was after the 20S had already been discontinued, so I got the 20S Evo, which was basically the exact same thing with a fixed antenna. Now they said they did some software updates here and there, but I didn't see any improvement. And then, just like they had done time and time again, that we were promised a absolute rehaul of the product, a brand new technology. with the 30K. Now, I've only been using this for a few months, but I pretty much just don't even use it anymore because it is pretty much the exact same thing as the 20S and the 20S Evo due to the fact that the mesh communication just doesn't work that well. So I thought to myself, I've tried three of their products now. I have been promised time and time again that all the issues are fixed and nothing ever does. So I pretty much made the decision to Try something different. And that's when I stumbled across the Cardo Pack Talk Bolt. So me being the millennial I am, I went ahead and started researching on the internet as to what is a good communicator outside of the Santa brand. And I actually stumbled across an ADV forum. Now, if I know anything from my years of writing is that ADV writers are completely functional over form. I mean, look at this picture of an ADV writer. He's got Crocs strapped to his saddlebags. That guy loves comfort, doesn't give a damn what he looks like. But with that being said, Cardo did not disappoint on the design. But pretty much every writer on that forum that I saw pretty much had the same opinion when it came to Bluetooth communicators. A lot of them had tried Cena, but ended up going to Cardo after testing out both brands, most of which had very positive results. So I decided to do the same. So today I'm going to be unboxing and installing my PackTalk Bold on my Simpson Ghost Bandit helmet. Now this is definitely not a how-to by any means, but I did want to kind of start my comparison. I will have a full review of going over pretty much every aspect of Cena versus Cardo, but this is more, this is literally the first time I'm seeing these units. This is my first time getting my hands on them. So pretty much when I see something, when I know something, I'm just gonna tell you guys about it. So first off, packaging. Uh, the win clearly goes to Cardo. This packaging literally looks like I'm about to open an iPhone or something of that sort. Don't know how the, the camera's picking up, but you got a lot of glossy stuff up here, a lot of flat stuff over here, and then you get a nice solid uh, box that comes out of it. Slides out, boom, you've got your units there and a nice printed graphic here. Now this is the duo pack, but just like with any other communicator, when you get the duo pack, it's pretty much the exact same as the single, just double. I told Cardo, go ahead and send me some doubles because we're all good friends. So Cardo was nice enough to send me out these two pack talk bowls, as well as two more for Roadblock and Uncle Ken. We will be trying these on our Arkansas trip coming up this week. So right out of the box, uh, construction feels good. I wouldn't say it's any better or any worse than uh, Santa. It's uh, a little bit more simple, I would say. The buttons are big and very far apart. So that's that's a plus. Antenna flips up easy. You don't have to, you don't actually have to pick it up. You just have to push it, and it flips up. Then you got your little jog dial here. That's also a button as well. And then of course your little flap here to uh, access your USB. These units are waterproof. They are IP67. Yes, IP67 waterproof. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Future Justin, go ahead and throw it here on the screen. So 
It says you can hook up to 15 riders, FM radio, MP3, as well as connect to a phone as well as a GPS system. And they do have a contract here with JBL who manufactures their helmet speakers. All right, so under this little tray here, we got a, a nice Cardo sticker, because who doesn't love stickers? And then we also have the Pack Talk Bold Pocket Guide. Now this is something I've watched all the how-tos on YouTube and stuff like that. They actually have a really good video on YouTube that walks you through everything. But this is, uh, it's kind of like a pamphlet material, a little bit of a higher quality paper that you can throw in your pocket and keep it as a guide in case you ever need it. Looking here on the pocket guide, you can see that it has uh, pretty much all the instructions you would ever need. You've got on, off, initiate pairing, voice dial, speed dial, answer a call, reject a call, auto scan, music, you name it, everything is here on this sheet. And like I said, if you're not a fan of reading things, they also have great videos on YouTube, as well as their Cardo mobile app. All right, and under that we have a uh, pocket guide in uh, Dutch. Yeah, some, some other language, not quite sure. Uh, a little feedback card, important safety and warranty information, as well as the installation guide. And this comes in a variety of languages, but this basically just tells you how to install the system within your helmet. Now, me being a millennial, as well as uh, a man, I'm not gonna need those instructions. Just kidding, I watched the uh, YouTube tutorial, so I know. What I really like about this system, and I cannot confirm, I don't remember if this was a thing on the Senna's or not, but when you get the dual, the dual duo pack, you get two boxes. And I opened this one up for Uncle Ken and Roblox because I had to split them. Everything is in these two boxes. So you could literally, if you have a buddy, you could literally just, there you go. Of course, they wouldn't have the pocket guides or anything like that, but that's what the internet's for. But that's nice to know that everything is in that. I don't think Senna's was like that, but like I said, I'm not confident enough to say that it was or was not. All right, so out of these boxes, we have a uh, micro USB. You'll need that to do your firmware updates and things like that. We have a wired boom microphone. This is for use in uh, modular helmets. We've got the uh, wired regular microphone as well as the Velcro with the sticky pads. You've got your actual helmet clamp mount. This will be for if your helmet is thin enough to have something clamp onto it. This will be the mount that you use. Hopefully we'll get to use this mount here shortly. And basically what these two wires are is one of them is a regular 3.5 millimeter for your speakers and the other one is kind of like a two prong connector and that's going to be for your microphone. Now we will get to this in a second because uh, if you're a fan of the channel you know that I like to record my uh, conversations on the Bluetooth so I'm going to show you how I'm able to do that with this one. And then you have your JBL speakers. You can see it here. They're actually branded on the little padding there, JBL. And then you've got some uh, filler pads, Velcro. This is so in case you got really deep pockets and you need the speakers closer to you, you can fill it with that. And then you've got an assortment of uh, soft Velcro here. And then you also have a sticky mount for your helmet in case your helmet is too thick, as well as two alcohol prep pads. And I'll tell you why here in a second. All right, so before I can put the new Cardo Pack Talk Bold on my new helmet, I will have to take off the old center unit. So give me just a little bit to do that. Go ahead and cue the, the time lapse. Now that's done, we can uh, get to installing the new unit. Now in case you couldn't really see what I was doing, essentially what I do to install these units is basically just rip out the pads, not rip out, but unbuckle the pads and get pretty much everything out of the way. Got one more here. So I take out the two side cheek pads, take the front one, just kind of stuff it out of the visor here. And that gives you free reign to pretty much everything within the helmet. Now, of course, I do have a lot of extra wires and crap coming in and out of here, but that's just because I'm a motovlogger and I hate things to be simple. But the new unit will pretty much go in exactly like the old one did. So let's go ahead and uh, cue another time lapse. Remember that uh, alcohol pad? I just clean spots so I can stick stuff. So I 
want to do one thing before I stuff everything in the helmet since I have the speakers out and easy to access. I did want to do a side-by-side -side sound test with the JBL speakers along with the Senna speakers. All right, on and off. Initiate pairing, five seconds. All right, said mobile one phone pairing. Scan, pack talk bold, boom. Paired successfully. Well, that was stupid easy. Let me go ahead and uh, play a song here. Picking something with like a lot of bass and treble. Wow. <laughs> so let me preface this by saying that I am a huge audiophile. I'm not the person that likes cheap headphones. I don't think I own a pair of headphones that's under like $150. I like the good stuff. Um, that's just who I am. So I don't say this lightly. That sounds good. Granted, they're not $250 headphone good but I would put them in about the 100 to 150 range as far as the overall quality. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the Cena, but I gotta go, because I threw it off the table, one sec. See if it connects to my phone. Okay, it connects to my phone, so. I'm trying to see if I can get it to play both at one time. All right, so I've got it playing out of both headphones now. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn both up as loud as they can go, that way I can get a volume test as well. Wow. So I'm having to listen to them differently because there is a slight delay, so it's hard to kind of, you know, compare it when your brain is trying to figure it out. So, as far as loudness goes, they are pretty equal. I was thinking that the Ceno was a little bit louder, but I think the reason that it sounds louder is just because the equalization on this is just very bad. It's very tinny. It's it's loud, don't get me wrong. So the 30K speakers are different than the 20S and 20S Evo. So that is one improvement they have made, but these are leaps and bounds ahead of these speakers. The bass is better, treble is better, everything about it is better. It's just a better balanced speaker by far. So, so far, Cardo's looking pretty good. Let me go ahead and uh, install the rest of this stuff in here. So everything is now hooked up and ready to go. Install was, I would say, pretty much spot on with any other Bluetooth communicator. It was, it was not any easier or not any harder just because I feel like that process is so simple already. Uh, once you do it with one, you can pretty much do it with anything out there. But I will say that I do like the overall finish and feel of this unit better than the Senna's. When I have it on, I can, I can tell where each button is. Everything is very defined uh, no matter where my finger is. Now I will say that the only complaint I have on this, and it is something that's been mentioned on other reviews as well, is that on the Cena, the way that the unit clamps down into the base is kind of on a slide system. So this would be attached to your helmet. This comes down, slides in, and then clicks into place. So you can sit here and bump it, anything like that. And if you actually hit this button, nothing happens. Of course, you'd lose your connection on your comm unit, but you would probably still have your comm unit. Issue with the Cardo is that since it's a side hinge system, if you were to accidentally bump this, that that could possibly happen. But I will say, you, got, you do have to put quite a bit of force on that, that button for that to come off. Yeah, it's, it's on there. I mean, yeah. I, I don't have any reservations about that. I feel like that's gonna be just fine. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and test the pairing, but uh, before I do that, I need to uh, get Mrs. Birds installed as well. So let's go ahead and do some editing magic and cut to that right now. All right guys, so we're back and uh, Mrs. Bird with us. She's just off camera here because she's not camera ready. There she is, she's right there. Hello. So now we're gonna go ahead and pair our devices here. Looking for here on the pocket guide. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're gonna do a DMC intercom grouping. So verify you are in DMC mode. You see your side? All right, you're blinking green, so that's good. Then only one group admin. All right. 
All right, press and top, press your top button right there, that one right there. This one? Yeah, press and hold it for five seconds. Nothing pushed in, is that okay? No, because you didn't press it. Oh. No. No, that's the bottom one. Move up. Oh my God, up. Right there. Things pushing in. There oh. you go. Press and hold. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You had to do yours too? Yeah. Oh, I hear you now. Hello, hello. Yep. That's good. Check, check, check. Check. All right. Well, that's it. All right. Now, I mentioned earlier that I was going to show you how I get my recordings from our group. And that is a little bit easier with uh, the Cardo here. And we're basically just using a uh, splitter. So once you plug in the splitter, Basically, one goes into the speakers or headphones, whatever you're using, and the other one goes into a digital audio recorder. Check, check, check. Yeah. You can hear me now that your music's off? Mm-hmm. Hello, hello. You can't hear me now? There we go. It's just a little sensitive, I think. Hello, hello. Yeah, that's good. Hello? Yep. Can you hear me? Yep. Hello? Yep. Play your music now. I want to test to make sure that works. Hello, hello. Hello? You hear me? Hello? Okay. Yeah. We should. That's my music. You can hear me? Can you hear you? Oh, I can hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Well, there we go. We have confirmed that it shall work. All right, guys, well, that's basically what we're going to uh, be doing today. Like I said, a full extensive review is gonna be coming very shortly. We're gonna get a lot of practice with these things this week, uh, doing about 1,800 miles just there and back, not to count any sort of ride that actually happens while we're there. All right, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.